Assalamu alaikum. Grade 8. Faiza Nadeem here with your English lesson generally and your English grammar specifically with further specification of a lecture on a preposition. But before I start my lecture, Faiza Nadeem along with the entire team presenting this lecture for you is hoping, wishing and praying that all of you are hale and hearty because we want the best for you guys, not only in the world but in the hereafter as well. So be happy, be safe and pay a lot of attention towards your academics, right? But above all, remember what is the first first upon you, your Salat. And the next first is to be obedient to your parents. So keep that in your mind always and always. So let's start our lesson without further delay. Let's begin. Yes, grade 8. What is the board telling you? The board is telling you that we are going to do unit 9 of the grammar tree, which is preposition as a layman's definition. You know what is preposition? Per position. Per preposition. Okay? Humko ye pata hota hai ke subject ki ya object ki. Kisi bhi sentence mein kya position hai? Wo kahan par hai? In hai? On hai? Through hai? Across hai? Kya position hai uski? Okay? To jo word usko denote karte hai, wo bhi p se shuru hote hai preposition. Ye to hui layman ki definition. What is the specific definition in your book? Your book says that a preposition shows the relationship between a person or a thing denoted by a noun and someone or something else in the sentence. A preposition is placed before a noun in a sentence. Okay? Noun se pehle, usually preposition placed hoti hai. Aur wo ye batati hai ki kisi bhi noun ka ya subject ka aapas bhi kya interaction hai, kya relationship hai. Ye hoti hai beta aapki preposition. Right? Ab hum iski example kar le. And then we are going to move on to the topic of the day. Example kya hai? She was born on the 1st of April in Islamabad. Kab peda hui thi? On April 1. Kaha? In Islamabad. Thikhe? So, ye on or in, ye position of this subject bata rahe. Likewise, let's do another example that says, she walked across the street to the shop. Kis tarha usne walk ki? Across the street. Road cross karke. Kis taraf? Dukaan ki taraf. To the shop. Right? So, uski movement ko, jo directions aapko denote kar rahe hai, jo word, Uski movement ki directions aapko denote kar rahe hai, wo kya hai, wo hai prepositions. Thik hai? Kisi bhi subject ki, kisi bhi object ki movement kis direction mein hai, jo wo kar rahe hai, jo unke saath bita hai, jo unke saath guzra hai, wo sab kis direction mein hai, on hai, in hai, kaha hai, kaise hai, wo sab prepositions denote karte hai. So, let's move on to the next topic. The next topic is kinds of preposition. But before I do the kinds of preposition, let me do exercise A. Exercise A is the first exercise in your textbook immediately before the definition of preposition, right? Just me aapko preposition properly put up karni hogi. To exercise A ab aapki screen pe pop up hogi aur aap mere saath saath usko solve karenge. Exercise A aap se kya keh rahi hai? Exercise A basically aapko revise kara rahi hai preposition ka concept by saying that fill in the blanks with preposition to complete the following letter. It's a letter. Continuous writing mein hai. Aur hume jaga jaga jahaan bhi blanks hai preposition fill karni hai. Thik hai? So the letter starts with this feels like a real holiday. After ages, and I am enjoying it tremendously. I love being near a beach. We arrived here almost a week ago, and I can't believe the time. 
is passing so fast. We finally completed our journey on Friday evening at about 11 o'clock. We checked into our hotel immediately. Second paragraph, our room is on the top floor and we can see the beach through the window. The beach is not far. We can walk there in five minutes. The only problem is that we have to go through a busy intersection. Third paragraph. We stay in our room throughout the day, but in the evening we go to the beach. Usually there is a party on the beach in the evening. Yesterday it went on till very late and today we came back at 9 o'clock. So this was exercise A which spoke you or which helped you revise your concept of prepositions. Let's move on to the kinds of preposition. Two ki prepositions hoti hain. Ek simple prepositions, ek compound prepositions. Jo simple prepositions hoti hain, wo simple words hoti hain. Kaun se? In, an, at, before, until, unless, of, with. Ye sab simple preposition hain. Compound prepositions kaun se hoti hain? Jo do ya do se zada words ki bani hai ho. Teen maximum, thik hai? Kaun se hoti hai wo? Agar hum two word compound preposition ki baat kare, to a few examples are on the board which says decide on, because of, according to and so on and so forth. And if we speak about three word prepositions, we can take the example of in view of, by virtue of, with reference to. Ye which are basically prepositional phrases hote hain. Lekin inko hum baat mein discuss karenge. Let's stick to the simple prepositions first. Thik hai? जो सिंगल वर्ड की सिंपल प्रपोजिशंस होती हैं, उनको हम स्टिक करते हैं, उनके पास हम रुकते हैं। सबसे पहले आती है प्रपोजिशन ऑफ प्लेस। ये बताती है कि पोजिशन किसी भी सब्जेक्ट या वर्ब की किसी भी जगह क्या है। और इसकी एग्जांपल है इन एट अबाउट बिसाइड बिटवीन। यानी कि जो सब्जेक्ट है या ऑब्जेक्ट through, below, under, near, ये सब preposition of place की example है. इसकी reinforcement है exercise B के जरिए. So let's do exercise B first. Exercise B is asking you to use preposition of place to fill in the blanks in the following sentences. ठीक है? Rana was lying, dash the grass, reading a book. On the grass, reading a book. Amir fell, dash his bike and broke his left arm. Amir fell off his bike and broke his left arm. Customers stood crowded, dash the counter. Customers stood crowded near the counter. The coin rolled off the table. Tina waits, dash the bus stop. For her friend every day. Tina waits at the bus stop for her friends every day. The villagers have built a bridge, dash the river. The villagers have built a bridge across the river. It's quite cold today. The temperature seems to be dash 5 degrees. It's quite cold today. The temperature seems to be around 5 degrees. My house is dash Bluebird Theater. My house is near Bluebird Theater. I tried to put the luggage dash the trolley. I tried to put the luggage on the trolley. And the last sentence is he threw a glance dash the clock. He threw a glance at the clock. What is a glance? A short look, right? So this was preposition of place. We move on to preposition of time. What time? 
the subject or the verb was at specific place. ठीक है किस वक्त जैसे इसकी एग्जाम्पल भी इन ऑन फॉर सिंस ड्यूरिंग वाइल अंटिल है लेकिन प्रपोजिशन ऑफ टाइम जो जनरल होते हैं उनकी प्लेसमेंट एक स्पेसिफिक होती है स्पेसिफिक जगहों पे जैसे बेटा इन को आप यूज करते हैं इन द ईयर इन द मंथ इन द सीजन ठीक है इसी तरह ऑन को आप यूज करते हैं ऑन द डे ऑन द डेट एंड ऑन अ स्पेसिफिक डे फॉर एग्जाम्पल ऑन रेजोल्यूशन डे ऑन इंडिपेंडेंस डे ऑन ईद वट एवर ठीक है सो ऑन इज यूज फॉर स्पेसिफिक डेज एंड एट इज यूज एट स्पेसिफिक टाइम एट फोर ओ क्लॉक एट सिक्स ओ क्लॉक एट मिड नाइट एट डिनर एट ब्रेकफेस्ट एट लंच और एट द पिकनिक ठीक है तो ये फ्यू यूजेज हैं प्रपोजिशन ऑफ टाइम के राइट किस वक्त इसकी भी री एनफोर्समेंट करते हैं एक्सरसाइज सी के जरिए सो दैट द कॉन्सेप्ट इज क्लियर टू यू एक्सरसाइज सी इज बेसिकली अ डायलॉग राइट खाशिफ इज अरेंजिंग अ मीटिंग विद अरीज फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स इन द फॉलोइंग सेंटेंसेस विद इन ऑन और एट ये जो तीन प्लेसमेंट हमने प्रपोजिशन ऑफ टाइम की नोट की है कि ठीक है किस टाइम उसकी हम फर्दर री एनफोर्समेंट करते हैं थ्रू दिस डायलॉग काशिफ आई हैव सम टाइम स्पेयर ऑन द टेंथ कैन वी मीट एट इलेवन ए एम अरीज टेंथ इज अ फ्राइडे लेट मी सी नो आई एम सॉरी आई खान सी यू ऑन फ्राइडे आई हैव अ फैक्ट स्केच यू काशिफ दैट्स टू बैट You see, I would like to have this meeting in this month, as I am going to be traveling in April. Arij, I was wondering, can't we meet on the weekend, say on Saturday or Sunday? That's fine with me. Kashif, weekends are difficult for me. I am always. in one relative's place or another it's family time you see arij i can understand well then are you free on the 13th let's say sometimes in the afternoon kashif 13th should be fine shall we say we meet at 4 pm arij 4 pm is fine See you on Monday then. So we have done exercise C and we have correctly placed in, on, and at at their specific positions, right? Let's move on to the next topic of the day. The next topic is asking you to learn, comprehend, or realize. the correct placement of since and for since and for are two types of prepositions and they are used obviously jo kaam aap kar rahe ho wo kab se kar rahe ho kitne hours ho gaye hain usko denote karne ke liye lekin their placements is tricky how for and since what is their placement they are placed with present perfect to talk about an action or state continuing to the present theek hai for and since present perfect tense ke sath use hote hain aur wo baat karte hain us action ki jo shuru hua tha kisi specific time se aur ab tak ho raha ho lekin iska funda kya hai iska funda ye hai ki for is spoken of as a duration or period of action or state which does not refer to the starting time beginning time ek uska specific beginning time humko nahi pata hota to hum for lagate hain iska bahut dhyan rakho ye sabse commonly misunderstood preposition hai jisko aap sabse common mistake karte ho usage mein jaise aapka hai the meeting has been going on for 4 hours hame nahi pata meeting kab start hui hai लेकिन वो चार घंटे से चल रही है ठीक है इसी तरह से देर वॉज अ पावर खट यास्टे फॉर द होल इवनिंग 
we don't know what time of the evening it was reinstated but we know that it was missing for most of the evening to yahan par hum lagayenge for isi tarah se aapka since use hota hai jo aapko ye batata hai ki date or time of an action or a state begin ki kis date aur kis time se aapka action ya state shuru hua hai वहां पर आप सेंस लगाते हो ये वाला प्रपोजिशन लगाते हो जैसे आपकी एग्जांपल है शी हैज बीन एबसेंट सिंस मंडे मंडे से वो एबसेंट है अब तक एबसेंट है आपको स्पेसिफिक डेट पता है लेकिन अगर आप ये कहोगे कि शी हैज बीन एबसेंट फॉर थ्री डेज और आपको नहीं पता वो कब से एबसेंट है मगर तीन दिन हो गए उसको एबसेंट हुए तो आप फॉर लगाओगे लेकिन आपको ये पता है कि वो मंडे से एब्सेंट है तो आपने सेंस लगाना है इसी तरह द न्यू लॉ हैज बीन इनफोर्स सिंस फर्स्ट ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी ट्वेंट द न्यू लॉ हैज बीन इनफोर्स फॉर अ नंबर ऑफ इयर्स नाउ बट द न्यू लॉ हैज बीन री इनफोर्स और इनफोर्स सिंस ऑगस्ट ट्वेंटी टेन और द करेंट कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हैड बीन Enforced since 1973, ठीक है आपको अगर स्पेसिफिक बिगिनिंग डेट पता है तो वो सेंस लगेगा और अगर आपको स्पेसिफिक बिगिनिंग डेट और टाइम नहीं पता या डे नहीं पता तो लगेगा फॉर अब इसकी एग्जाम्पल है एक्सरसाइज डी लेट्स टू एक्सरसाइज डी वो आपको क्या कहती है वो ये कहती है कि यूज फॉर और सेंस टू फिल इन द ब्लैंक्स इन द सेंटेंसेस आई हैव नॉट टॉक टू एलन फॉर मोर देन अ वीक ठीक है फॉर क्योंकि बिगेनिंग डेट नहीं पता हमें फॉर सम रीजन टूडे द फोन हैज बीन रिंगिंग सिंस मॉर्निंग पता है हमें शुरू सुबह से बोझ रहा है ठीक है इसलिए सिंस मॉर्निंग आंट यू टायर्ड यू हैव बिन वर्किंग एट द कंप्यूटर फॉर द लास्ट फोर आवर्स Number four, we have been worrying about our friend since the time we got news that they had lost their way in the woods. आपको वक्त पता है कब जब आपको पता चला था कि वो अपना रास्ता जंगल में woods में woods छोटी woods होती हैं ठीक forest या जंगल नहीं होती a collection of trees closely grown together ठीक है वो woods होती हैं. She had been living here. For almost twelve years, almost we are not confirmed. Mr. Smith had not been seen by his neighbors since Sunday. O M G! What had happened to Mr. Smith? Are you worried? It is difficult to concentrate after you have done math for three periods in a row. Okay, we don't know when. We don't know at what day. We don't know at what time. So we are using for. A tentative sa, a unknown sa beginning time hai. I have stopped trusting him since he broke his promise to me the last time. We know for sure that it was the last time that he broke the promise. So we have stopped talking to that specific person. ठीक है? Who can't keep his promises? All right. Let's quickly recapitulate today's lesson. What did we do? We did unit nine prepositions. We knew about the definition of the prepositions, and then we learned about two types of prepositions. We learned about the preposition of time, preposition of place, and the correct placement of for and since. Along with that, we had done the correct placements of in, on, and at. रिवाइज करो पढ़ो लेक्चर को अच्छी तरह से दोबारा सुनो अगर समझ नहीं आया है और एक्सरसाइजेस मेरे साथ साथ सॉल्व करो कोई मुश्किल नहीं है बहुत आसान है ये आपको यूजेज क्लियरली डिस्क्राइब हुआ हुआ है कि ऑन इन और एट आपने कहाँ यूज करना है इस यूजेज को अपने दिमाग में रखो फायजा नदीम को इजाजत दो अपनी दुआओं में याद रखना पाकिस्तान को मुझे और सब मुसलमानों को अल्लाह हाफिज Thank mm-hmm. you.